Greetings and more greetings from New Zealand. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Eric Backer, the naturopath. Here's an interesting one. I always say that, don't I? I'm 66 years old. Well, I'm not, but the person asking the question is. And I'm tired all the time. What do I do? Many people, when they even get to my age at 60, and I'm still a young fella, I'm going to be visiting this lovely Dutch neighbor this afternoon. She's 92. Now, the woman's sharp as a tack. I haven't got my phone here, but she sends me texts. I can't believe this woman. And mentally and physically just... She probably beat me in a game of chess. So age has not really that much bearing on vitality, as far as I see it, with some people because of the mindset. The genetics play a role, I will admit that. Some people are not genetically predisposed to have a lot of energy as they age. But I can tell you guys out there, I've had plenty of patients in the 80s and 90s that would run up the two flights of stairs in, to come up to my clinic room up here. And I've seen them and I've seen people, you know, 55, like younger than me, walk around like they're 98, moaning and complaining about everything. and. Getting older, I'm getting older. For goodness sakes, <coughs> go to another planet, you know. But a lot of it has got to do with mindset. So let's read some of my cheat sheet notes I've typed up here. The first thing I would generally do in a clinical setting um, was look how the fatigued patient is living. I'd look at their mode of living. I'd also look at their mental state of health. Are they depressed? Are they anxious? Have their family all taken off and left that person alone with their partner? Is the person living alone? Do they have any pre-existing conditions? Why are they tired? Are they mentally tired? Are they psychologically tired? Are they spiritually tired? Are they physically tired? Are they sexually tired? I mean, what, what are we talking about with fatigue here? You know, I mean, no point telling someone like me I'm tired, but what does it mean I'm tired? So define the fatigue. Let's talk about the type of fatigue you've got by looking at the different parameters of your life and your health, like your sleep and your energy and your libido and all these things. This will give me a good picture, and like a more rounded picture of the type of person you are. The sleep is important thing. Tired people don't sleep. They don't sleep well, they're waking up. Maybe the 66 year old has sleep apnea. Maybe the 66 year old has hypertension or is overweight. Maybe the 66 year old has uh, a lot of pain in their body, fibromyalgia. So we need to again, ask all these questions and find out what's going on. The family dynamics. Is the person living alone, as I mentioned, or in a relationship? As people get older, they accumulate a lot of emotional baggage, right? So a 26 year old hasn't got all the crap so much built up over the extra 40 years that that 66 year old has. He's had all those interactions, all those arguments, all that lovemaking, all the job opportunities, all these issues that have taken that person up to that age. And it sits there. It sits there. And with some people, it plays a big role in creating fatigue. Stressful relationships take their toll. But why stress? I keep harping on about stress. That's because stress creates fatigue. Stressed people are tired people. You go and look at someone you know that's highly stressed, especially a 60 plus year old, an anxious stressed person, usually they're tired. They can't be bothered anymore. You're getting the picture? And you're thinking, ah, this guy's gonna tell me to eat more meat with iron and that, that'll fix my fatigue up. No, it doesn't work that simply. <clears throat> Stress is also linked, particularly people my age, with hypochlorhydria. Now, that's not some magic word. That's just basically a poor functioning stomach or a low functioning stomach. Because people who live under stressful conditions tend to have a higher amount of sympathetic um, nervous system activity. And a sympathetic nervous system is the fight or flight. It keeps your mind active. It keeps you alert and aware of dinosaurs running after you. But also, it reduces blood supply to the stomach and the digestive organs. It thickens the blood, it slows the blood down. So it can clot faster if you fall and the T-Rex steps on your arm and it's bleeding, it's gonna clot faster. What was that movie with Sam Neill in it? The dinosaur movie when the guy was on the, sitting in the bathroom and the, that was crazy. I wonder if you watched that one. Jurassic Park, I love Jurassic Park. 
one of my favorites. Talk about stress. So you can see stress can reduce um, the production and output of digestive enzymes. And then you get burping, bloating, farting, bowel problems. And this creates fatigue because if you can't, stomach's inactive, it's not going to allow the pancreas to work effectively. And now you're going to get a problem with starch and, and carbohydrates breaking down, proteins breaking down. And uh, now you're going to get a lack of nutrition. And this is where a lot of fatigue stems from. It's no different from a carburetor on a motor car when I put my hand on top of it, block it so the airflow can't go through. You're starving the engine of what it needs to really perform, just like a stomach. Um, what kind of foods is this tired person eating? Are they having a packet of Lay's chips in front of Seinfeld at night uh, with, with a glass of wine and then wondering why they're tired? Are they eating plenty of foods, fresh fruits and vegetables? Maybe lean meats, eggs or chickpeas or lentils, nuts or seeds. Are there any nutritional deficiencies with this fatigued person? Do they have a zinc deficiency? Do they have a iron deficiency? Many older people get deficiencies, especially if they're on medications. And of course, the last thing we ask for is the medications they're taking, uh, what they're diagnosed with and those sorts of things. So think about those things I spoke about. If any of those uh, ring a bell with you, maybe it's time to do something about it or you can do something about it by going to you know think about it and talk to someone anyway thanks for tuning in